Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We get wild a bit. Man, did you guys see? I'm waking up this morning and Ezekiel Elliott's all over the news. I said, no. No, please, what's going on? I Yeah. Powered by 1-800-TRUCK-RECK. First, though, we got to talk about this, a proposal that will require new Dallas restaurants to provide diaper-changing tables in the men's and women's room. Good. Has been proposed, y'all. That is good. That's surprising good. that they don't already have them. Okay. I mean, they, they were saying that a, a father, he proposed the requirement after he was telling uh, city leaders and everybody that he had to change his baby on a bathroom floor. That's disgusting. I guess in the yeah. men's bathroom. It happens. So there's not... We were talking about this off the air. Yeah. Michael, Sean, you got twins. I have twins. Well, three daughters, and uh, I had to change all of them. I actually right. got good at it. You did? By the by the time with the twins? Yeah, I got nice with it. Like, I was fast, and I, I was proper, and everything was clean and perfect. But you you got to do it wherever you do it. Like, you got to make it happen in the back seat. Like, Jay, just, we were just talking about it. In the back seat of your car, yeah. maybe the trunk. Mm-hmm. And then um, the problem is using the restroom if you have daughters. Yeah. Like, I would ask managers, can I use the woman's restroom? Because I didn't really want to bring my daughters in the men's. That men. is difficult, though. But that's more like now they have the family bathrooms. Yeah, and they, they had do. They do have the family yeah. bathrooms now. I forgot. So, so as a guy, though, would you guys, was it, is it going to trip you out if you go into the men's room and there's a diaper changing station? No. I mean, it's I, I, pushed I, up on the wall, right? Yeah, it's pushed. So. It's better to push up on the wall. That's fine. I, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, okay. every once in a while, I was talking to Breeze, our assistant uh, producer, that uh, sometimes you would ask a female to take your daughter into the restroom. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, you know, and you, I guess that would be one. weird as a man if your daughter is like, let's say she's like three or four. Right. right. And you guys have the urinals, so there's men exposed when you first walk Man, into the bathroom, right. which is why you can't take them in. Uh, I, didn't I never thought about that. that. I never thought about that. And just as they're young, just them walking into a, a man's restroom. They're getting used to it. Kind of bothered me. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I get it now. I mean, it does make sense. Cool so thank God for the family restroom. Yeah, exactly, because you see me on there, oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, I wake up this morning, Ezekiel Elliott's in the news. I thought, oh no, what did he do? Because you know, he looks like he would get in trouble. Oh, now, yeah, he's got that in trouble face. Yes. Yeah, he's got that in trouble beard. Well, actually, it's actually good news. They were talking about how Ezekiel Elliott is offering to pay for the funeral of a teen football star that was killed by a stray bullet. Oh, that was so yeah, sad. Yeah, I remember that. They said he was, oh. like, up and coming. Like, he was going to, he was already be what This young man was being watched mm. already by a bunch of uh, colleges. Mm-hmm. That he was, he was, he was about to pop. But, yeah, I think him and his friend were walking outside of a party, mm-hmm. and it was a stray bullet. That's but shame, that's nice, man. Ezekiel Elliott. Because again, I I heard the news and I saw his face on TV. I thought, oh God, what did he yeah. do? No, it's good news this time. Shout oh, to Zeke. Go ahead. Shout yeah, to you. For real. Good everybody. work, homie. Hey, and then finally, I know this is a dream come true for every man. And when I saw this, I said, wow, that is so interesting. I got two questions right now. If Jay, could you be this man's woman? And fellas, would you like to be him? Who? Chris Brown, they said, at a birthday party, and 1,000 women showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are hilarious with that. <laughs> One. Thousand <laughs> women showed up to the man's party. Now he has a, a Karuchi lookalike right now. He yes, got a he does. He got a girlfriend who looked exactly like Karuchi. But anyway, I know, girl. He didn't stray away from his type. No, nope, not he at didn't all. Pretend. But there were a thousand women who thought maybe he would stray away from his type. Yeah, basically. But a thousand women showing up for your birthday party. <laughs> Is that like a fantasy, Mike? Would that be a man's fantasy? That would be amazing if I threw a party and had a thousand women come out for my birthday party. Yeah. Does, it matter, does, it, does it matter what, it, what they look like? or just? I like, mean, it does matter. I'm not going to be... Oh, gosh, I'm not gonna Mike. Be, I'm not going to be a liar. It does but matter. But you won't discriminate. I won't discriminate. Like, everybody can catch it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Jay, could you date a man and you're like, oh, I show up to my man's party and there's a thousand women. Ma'am, it better not be ten. What you mean? I only know about three of these chicks. Yeah, we all on girls. I, don't even know seven girl, just like, I would sit there pouting all night long. Y'all be like, what's wrong with his girlfriend? Look at all them girls up in here. I ain't gonna lie. Didi, if you had a birthday party, a thousand women showed up, you'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Because you got like fifteen percent lesbian in certain days, it goes up to twenty (laughs) percent. Fridays, Fridays Fridays after the happy hour. Wake that ass up! Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We get wild a bit.